Hey guys, Tech Cameron here. So today we're going to be looking at Easy BCD. Easy BCD is an essential tool if you're going to be dual booting or triple booting windows. This does work if you feel like eliminating the Linux bootloader. Also, I actually enjoyed the Linux bootloader a lot more than the Windows. But I do still use the Windows bootloader anyways. So for this, you download it from this website, the neosmart-dr blah 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 blah. The link will be in the description below if you guys uh, are interested in do booting and want to use this software. There are alternatives. I don't feel like talking about the alternatives because I'll talk about them in another video. But for this video, here is Easy BCD. The screen you're going to see when you launch it is this. Don't be scared about this. This is just the boot.ini file. I don't even know if it's called that anymore. In the in the Vista and the Vista and Seven. Don't be scared if you have no idea what the heck this is. Is just don't be scared. The detailed mode. I don't think you're gonna want to see this because it's just more crap. The edit boot menu. This is where you probably know what the heck you're doing in this one. You can move the operating systems up and down for the for preferences and uh, well, just because you feel like moving Windows 7 up top for some reason. You can rename it too. I, I'm not going to rename it, but you can do it. You can change this to the default. Uh, for whatever reason because you use it the most whichever one you use the most you're gonna want to set light to the default the add new entry is if you're if you do if you have this then you decide I want XP again and you install it as a do boot and five and five minutes later you're freaking out because the the Vista bootloader disappeared that's because XP automatically overrides the Vista bootloader, which is why Easy BCD is for XP as well. From XP, you can re reinstall Easy BCD and uh, and add the Vista bootloader again because you messed up the first time. And no, I actually would recommend installing XP first, just be, just eliminate the hassle. Uh, the way in settings, I don't think you want to mess with this because if you do. You you could prevent it from booting, especially if you mess with the drives. It'll it'll boot into the wrong operating system, or it won't boot at all. The l English is just the language the OS is seeing. I'm pretty sure you're using English. The safe mode you can ju you can make it boot into basic where you got safe mode, active directory repair, whichever one you feel like making it booting. The developer, you can make it booting all these modes. The verbose mode, it's, it's, it's like a, a live log for whatever purpose. That's the, well, that's basically the advanced settings. The backup and repair, do not mess with this. You could basically mess it up with this. The reset BCD configuration means that you're gonna have to re add all the entries, or you're gonna end up not being able to boot at all. So I suggest you don't do any of this unless you're forced to because you try to add a new entry and you get a bunch of errors. You're gonna need to reset the PCD configuration, and from light, you're gonna have to add the, all of the entries you had before. I don't recommend messing with this. The bootloader setup. Don't you can basically install the BCD onto a bootable media. This way you can you can basically boot into say your 500 gigabyte hard drive. You've turned into a uh, operating system storage. This is the XP bootloader. This is the seven bootloader. If you're gonna be doing, you're probably gonna want to install this one. Uh, so I don't recommend messing with this either. You're gonna be messing with some pretty tough stuff, and if you do it wrong, you're gonna mess up your system. The useful utilities. This is the iReboot. 
if it, if say today you boot into reset, you know you're gonna be using XP tomorrow f for work for whatever reason. You can click uh, click this and it'll reboot it into into Vista later. Actually, it, it'll re reboot into Vista now, and the the power console is well. You basically do command line. I don't recommend messing with this. You can mess up your system. The Vista Seven Restore CDs. If you, if you install the XP and o override the Vista Bootloader, if you're lazy and using ECBCD, you can e download this. But you're still gonna have to use ECBCD. That's why you can't boot into XP anymore. The System Restore. It'll it'll revert any any changes you've made to the system. Yeah, but anyways. This uh, is basically the Windows System Restore, so it probably doesn't back up the bootloader for whatever reason. This is the system information, don't bother with that. The control panel is, well, you know the control panel. So this is EasyBCD, uh, and this is Tech Cavern logging out.